The Acer Swift 5 is Acer's top ultra-portable laptop. It's thin, light, looks nice, and looks as great as it performs. As a cherry on top, it comes with a Gorilla Glass antimicrobial touchscreen, which helps to prevent the buildup of germs on your screen. I mean, what's not to love? But is this feature alone worth your money? Join us in this video as we talk about why the Acer Swift 5 is still a good laptop you can't ignore. Let's find out! Design The Acer Swift 5 is without a doubt an attractive laptop, with its sturdy feeling build, thanks to the aerospace grade aluminum chassis cloaked in a rich mist green or steam blue shade. The hinges are firm and doesn't feel at all wobbly. There's also a large vent and two speakers, which I'll delve into later. The look is completed with stunning gold accents on the edges, a small gold Acer logo on top of the lid, and the anodized cover that is resistant to corrosion and wear and supposed to have an antimicrobial effect, according to Acer. We struggle with keeping our laptops clean from germs. It's not like we can just clean it with water and detergent, and it's all gone. That is what the antimicrobial feature of the Acer Swift 5 is here to do. There are no health implications whatsoever, and it's a great initiative which isn't found on most laptops. Hey, look at us. Look at us. Huh? Who would have thought? Not me. Display. The Acer Swift 3 had a fantastic display, and the Swift 5 doesn't disappoint either with a 14 antimicrobial Corning Gorilla Glass WQXGA Touch Display, 2560x1600 resolution. This display is super amazing to the extent that details appear very much alive when watching movies. Minor details like the color of the pupils of the eye, freckles and texture of fabrics are so accurate you feel like you're actually in the movie. With a 16-10 aspect ratio, the screen is slightly taller than typical widescreen, 16 to 9 dimensions, which is much appreciated when it comes to web surfing and writing. That does sound nice. Yeah. Switching between apps is much easier as well with less scrolling. Not only that, Acer boasts of a 92.22% screen-to-body ratio, which gives more room for display around the laptop completing the premium look. The lack of a stylus pen will kind of limit users that like to draw or take notes. Weight and size. Before I talk about the weight and size, let's look briefly at the color calibrations of the Swift 5. 457 nits of brightness is the best so far. If you want to sit outside and enjoy your YouTube videos or video calls, there is no problem at all, because everything will appear great. It is also supported by 131.7% of the sRGB color gamut and 93.3% on DCI-P3 color space, so your images don't appear washed out. Will the color calibrations affect the camera quality of this premium laptop? We will find out in the course of the video. Swift 5 is one of the lightest ultra-portable laptops you can find on the market, weighing only 2.65 pounds, 1.2 kilograms, and 0.59 inches, 14.98 millimeters thin, so carrying it around on your business trip, coffee break or lectures is an absolutely no trouble. There are a lot of reviews coming up. In order for you not to miss them, why don't you hit on the subscribe button? Memory and Storage Moving on, 16GB LPDDR5 RAM isn't bad at all compared to the MacBook Air that has only 8GB RAM. LPDDR5 RAM offers higher speed of data transfer, consumes very less power, and offers improved memory performance of the laptop. 1TB SSD storage is the best so far of all the laptops I have reviewed. I know most of you consider the storage before purchasing a laptop. With the Acer Swift 5 you can save your huge files, videos, pictures and movies, and still have enough space to play with. Will the Acer laptop continue to shine when it comes to battery life? More on that shortly. Oh, we have a long journey ahead of us, we should be going. Camera and Audio For those of us who work from home, a laptop with a good webcam and quality audio is very important. Can't stress this enough. The Acer Swift 5 boasts of a 1080p webcam that manages to take clean and well-lit pictures under favorable conditions. Although the webcam is well-built, the built-in privacy shutter was exempted, 
All the same, you're going to look and sound great in your Zoom meetings and videos. The Acer Swift 5 is equipped with dual speakers enhanced with DTS processing. Placed on the right and left edges parallel with the touchpad, due to this position, you won't get the best sound quality if placed on your lap. Probably best if I don't. On a brighter side, the volume itself is also well balanced, not too loud or quiet. But you probably don't want to blast it because it doesn't sound great. I must admit, this isn't the best audio setup I expected of the Acer Swift 5. You have let me down. Processor Acer moved away from 11th Gen Intel processor to 12th Gen Intel Core, i7-1260p processor for the Swift 5, which makes the laptop unique indeed because most ultra-thin laptops come with 11th Gen Intel processors. The new 12th Gen Intel Core i7-1260p has four fast performance cores up to 4.7 GHz with hyper-threading support, accompanied by eight efficiency cores, so the chip can execute up to 16 threads simultaneously. Don't underestimate the performance of this laptop because of the size or weight. You can open 20 Chrome tabs, 3 YouTube videos, and even work on Google Docs concurrently, and the machine will not crumble under pressure. It delivers throughout. The Acer Swift 5 comes with integrated Intel Iris Xe graphics, so yeah, you can play that video game, but not a graphically demanding game. That's unfortunate. And you can edit your 4K videos, but it also depends on the app you choose. Battery life. The battery life of the Swift 5 isn't as good as I expected, but the good news is that in just 30 minutes, you will get about four hours of power to take you through your work. You can expect about 15 to 17 hours of typical device usage. You can stream YouTube videos, browsing the web, watch Netflix and all. But with the screen brightness at its maximum, you will get barely five hours of laptop usage, which is such a bummer. When the brightness is set at 150 nits, you will get 11 hours and 24 minutes of device usage. Comparing the price of the Acer Swift 5 and the battery life, I think the users deserve much more than this. What a ripoff! Keyboard and Touchpad The backlit keyboard feels pretty smooth and accurate, and you can switch between two brightness settings or turn off the underkey lighting entirely if you want by pressing the F11 key. The keyboard is excellent and very responsive with just the right tactile feedback, making it easier to type with ease. The hinges allow a display opening angle of about 140 degrees, which keeps the keyboard slightly elevated especially for users who hate fairly flat keyboard and always keeps the display tightly in its position. Meanwhile, the fingerprint sensor beneath the keyboard is very responsive and fast. The 4.1 x 2.6 inches ocean glass antimicrobial touchpad is wide very smooth, with tactile clicks, well calibrated, and doesn't feel at all cheap. You will fall in love with it when you get to use it, and effectively responsive to the two-finger scrolling and three-finger tapping gestures. Ports and Connectivity Acer did well on their port selection, providing plenty of connectivity despite the slim frame. You'll find a pair of USB-C Thunderbolt 4 charging ports on the left side, along with a single USB-A 3.1 port and HEMI 2.1 port for plugging in an external monitor. I know that's a whole lot of holes. Meanwhile, the right side of the laptop adds another USB-A port to the mix alongside a 3.5 mm headphone port and the Kingston security lock slot. And when it comes to wireless connectivity, the Swift 5 packs in the latest Wi-Fi 6E standard for compatible routers and Bluetooth 5.2 for wireless peripherals. There's plenty of selection here no matter what your needs are. See, lots of options. Price and availability. The price ranges include $999.99, $1,374.99 on the Amazon website, $1,499.99, Windows 11 options, and $1,299.99, Windows 10 options on the Acer website. Although the device was released three years ago, specifically, 23rd June 2020, the reviews on the Acer Swift 5 specs and designs clearly indicate that it's without a doubt a good laptop, but is it worth the cash? Tell us in the comment section below. 
Your comment helps us to improve so feel free. It has been an amazing review so far and thank you very much for staying with us to the end of this video. Hit on the like button if this video was helpful. And I recommend you check out our next video on the Lenovo Yoga 9i. The reviews are equally very informative which you will like as well. See you next time. Until then stay safe.